Hey guys, Dear Yoongi here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. You may notice something's a bit different. Um, yeah, this is my real voice. I have decided to just start this video with a little bit of an intro introducing myself and my real voice because YouTube has been a little bit concerned recently that I might be a robot trying to spam you guys with my robot voice. So if anyone did subscribe to me because they thought that was true, sorry to disappoint. So I thought I would start by letting you guys hear my actual voice. And I just want to know what your opinion would be on me using my voice for some future videos, not all of them don't worry. If you'd be okay with that please let me know in the comments down below. I will start subtitling my videos as well if I do start using my voice just for people who don't speak English as a first language. Please let me know your thoughts. If you would be okay with me using my real voice in some videos I'd really appreciate it. But for now for today's video let's get back into how things normally are with my robot voice and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks guys! Hey guys, dear Yoongi here, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I think it's time for part 2 of my cheesy slash cringy K-pop songs which I actually like, as I did in part 1. Before we start, I just want to clarify what I mean by cringy, and how I do not mean this in a bad way or to send any hate to the artists and songs in this video, because it's not necessarily a bad thing. To me a song that is a bit cringy or cheesy is a song that is very excessive and over the top in a specific style, or has specific characters characteristics, styling or lyrics that sets it apart from your usual music. Cringier songs often divide music fans because some people love them and some people hate them. Personally, over the top cringy songs are so far removed from my personal taste that it's crazy. But that doesn't mean that I dislike all of them, as this video will prove. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Catalina by Orange Caramel. <laughs> I thought I'd start with a pretty obvious one, because I don't think I have to really explain why this song could potentially be seen as cheesy or cringy, but to be honest, Catalina always has and always will be a bop. I'm not gonna deny it. There's also a lot of symbolism behind both the song and music video too, which may seem off-putting to people who aren't as into the K-pop world at face value, but definitely worth reading into if you get the chance. Number 2. Girls 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 by GOT7. I think the main reason why I have to classify this song as cheesy or cringy is partially because of the lyrics, but also because it's through and through such a debut style song, like the styling video, again the lyrics lol, but I was a huge GOT7 stan since debut and this was the song that got me into them. I really loved it and I remember thinking that it was so cool at the time and that they looked super cool which is funny now to look back on. In reality, they were just teenagers who wanted to sing about girls and you can't blame them for that considering the vibe really sweeted them at that time and the stage they were in their career. It's fun and I still enjoy the song even now because it's nice to see how much they grew over their career as artists. I spoke about this in another video actually but I'd be lying if I said I could remember which one considering all I do is talk too much lol. Number 3. Ice Cream by Huna. This one I think is a product of its time, which is mostly what makes it cheesy, as well as again the lyrics, but this was one of many of Hana's solo songs which I've thought were bangers. She has some really great songs on her discography and this one is no exception. I think both the song and video were super fun. I also especially loved how the main chorus was super catchy, but then they had that post-chorus part as well as Mabu's little part you know the hands in the air, miniverse if you can call it that. I think it worked really great as a follow-on from Bubble Pop and the success that had, because it showed another side of her ability as a soloist while managing to engage both old and new fans at the time. Like <laughs> Number 4. Female President by Girls Day. Even though this song is a mega timeless bop, you can't deny there's something about it that is just inherently cringy and cheesy. Perhaps it's the dance and the end of the chorus, but you know what? I love that about this song. I love that that specific dance became a bit of a viral dance for a time in the K-pop community, and a lot of us into K-pop at that time will remember our faves doing it. It's iconic and reminds me of my early standing days. And can we just talk for a second about how talented girls they are? This song in particular just shows off how insane their vocals were, and they deserve recognition for that. They all look amazing and are great performers too. Sigh. I miss them. Number 5. Are You Hungry by Jungler and Harin of EXID. Are you hungry? Sorry for starting with a clip from Weekly Idol. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of that show. Or more so the hosts lol maybe that's a topic of discussion for another time. 
I can't play too much of the actual song here, but please check it out if you have chance. I can't exactly explain why it is cheesy. The eating sounds and repetition I think do that for me. But this song OMG I love it. It's the pair solo from the group's street album which is one of my faves. Not a single track on that album disappoints. This one included. Both the song itself and the choreography are both super fun and catchy, which is what I'm usually looking for in cheesy songs. Something fun to sing or dance along with. A lot of K-pop fans have pointed out the similarities between the instrumental of both this song and Boom Boom by Momo Land, which may be why some people haven't taken time to listen to it. But honestly, I don't think there was any cases of plagiarism on either side, and it was more a case of similar or the same producers working with both groups. I'm not complaining at all, because the great instrumental is another thing I love about this song. <laughs> Number 6. Freeze by Block B. Hi, and lastly number 7. Mr. Chu by A Pink. This song is prime example of why I say in the beginning of these types of videos that a song being cheesy or cringy is not necessarily a bad thing. This song is the definition of like a cheesy love song which somebody like me would normally cringe at. But I can't deny how enjoyable it is and look how successful it was. A lot of us now consider this an iconic K-pop song that stands both new and old should know. And I think it has rightfully earned that title. It's another one with a chorus and choreography you want to just join in with and I love that songs like this one can just get in your head so easily without much effort because of this style. It's super clever and not gonna lie. I think a lot of A-Pink's releases were low-key ahead of their time. This group always understood the assignment and when it came to growing with their audience with a more mature concept they did it flawlessly. They have managed to work both ends of the spectrum and that is why they have had a solid 10-year career in the industry. Okay guys that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, I'd love to hear both your thoughts on the ones I mentioned and some of your personal cheesy faves in the comments below too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, it would mean so much to me. As always, my Twitter username will be on screen. If you'd like to give it a follow, I always follow back fellow K-pop fans so let's be friends. I will see you next time. Bye guys.